Novak. Jesus Christ. People die. People die when command fucks up. How exactly is this Arthur's fault? This is on him. And on Wade. That bastard abandoning his team. Well, you're right about Wade. If he shows his face again, I'll bloody kill him myself. Oh, yes. Let's keep blaming each other instead of the Germans. Is that supposed to impress me? Relax. It does not matter. Reisinger is going to kill us all. Reisinger? The Nazi. The one who killed Novak. Old friend of yours, is he? We have history. Oh, yeah? What kind Forget of history? Forget Reisinger. Arthur will get us out of this. What? Because he's your mate? He wasn't always. But I've seen him in action. You lose men. That's war. Sometimes the only way to honor a fallen soldier is to finish the mission. But try remembering that while their blood stains your boots. If you're meant to lead, you have to learn what it's like to lose men. To have them die trusting you. And it's only one way to learn that lesson. First time I did was on D-Day. Until dawn to achieve our objective. And it seems like the crowds already know we're coming. Now we've got one chance to demolish the coastal artillery. But if we don't, the invasion tomorrow will fail. Now I trained you all for this. Let's not let the Navy show us up. So take the case, mates. Blast the artillery and fire your flares to let the Navy know the job's done. You know the drill. Stand up! Hook in! Stand by!
Thunder! Thunder! Don't shoot! Damn you, Kingsley. We pegged you as a crown. Lucky we didn't fill you full of lead. Nice to see you, gents. Where do we stand? The captain didn't make it, so we're on our own now. I say we dig in and wait for the rest of the sick airborne to assemble. Henry said we had till dawn to destroy the artillery. If we don't, the invasion fails. So you fancy yourself the captain now? Sunup's an hour away at best. There's no time for a sit-down. Yeah, there's also no muscle or no cavalry coming to save the bloody day. The only thing we can do here is to die or try not hey, to. you two scrapping over who's got the bigger bollocks ain't gonna solve nothing. Those German casemates aren't that far away. I think we can get to them in time. So I say we take them out. The company's scattered. We're pissing in the wind at this point. You know what's at stake. You all do. This is madness. Hey, we're beyond madness. Look, I'm with Arthur. We finished the mission. All right, Kingsley. Looks like you're in charge now. Casemates and Valhalla are that way. We should get moving. What's the plan, Kingsley? Let's get a path cleared. You heard the Sarge. Clear that debris. Lights on the cliff. That's the coastal defense battery. The bridge is well guarded and the bank's too steep. We secure the bridge then. It's our only move. You're the boss. <clears throat> Keep low. Watch that truck. We have an opportunity here. Stay quiet and get close. Multiple targets. We've got options, Sarge. At the fence. Take them out. On the mother truck! Fence is clear! Uh, they're falling back! Move up!
Driver Blitz. I got this, Sarge. Well, that was a fucking kerfuffle. <laughs> hey, Sarge got it done. We're still here, aren't we? I suppose. Eight men. Standing against the Nazi gun fort. Richard said I'd gone mad. Sometimes, a little madness is called for. I think deep down he understood that. And realized, we were cut from the same cloth. How's it looking, Sergeant? Best see for yourself. Let's get you the lay of the land. Our targets are the guns housed in those casemates. And we can only get there through a horde of Germans armed to the teeth. Think you can handle taking out the lower gun? I fancy my chances. That bunker's our way in, but it's packed with MGs. It'll be a hard push. First job's getting across that minefield. But that anti-tank ditch could be useful. I've got an idea. I'm all ears. We can punch a hole through the mines with those blitzers there. And the bunker will make mince meat out of us as soon as they hear the engines coming. We're going quiet then. No engines. Bail at the last second, let gravity do the work. That should get us to the ditch at least. Well? I love it. But I think you should go first. <laughs> All right, then. As soon as you hit the ditch, get the men ready. Tommy, you with me? Oh, yeah. Drive through the minefield, take the bunker, strap some thermite to some highly explosive weapons. Piece of piss, Sarge. And you, get a second sun burning in the sky. If our ships don't see that flare, if they don't know we've won, they'll fire on the guns and risk taking us with them. Well, I don't know about you, but I think I'll take very little consolation in knowing that the fire that killed me was friendly. Don't worry, Gov. I won't forget to aim up. Godspeed, Kingsley.
there. Yes, sir. He's gone. He's just... He's just gone. Able to wear my position, sir. Wait on your orders. We're ready for orders, Kingsley. On my command, we charge. Charge! Go, go, go! Just waiting on you, boss. You take the lower case, mates. I'll take the upper ones. Don't forget the flare. Let's move up. All right, Sarge. All right, boys, this is it. You're on me. Tommy! Bring us back. We need to clear the door. All right, lads. Bob of you. With me. That hot stuff's tearing us up. Suppress it fire now. Take out that hot track. Pushing! On the left! Under the half track! Watch that half track! Move! Move! Left half track gunner is down! Cover ahead while you find a torch, Sarge. Bloody hell, it stinks in here. Sarge, torch over here. Best grab it. <coughs> Bloody hell. Up ahead. 
Look at that fucking monster! One down, one to go. That's the last of the thermite. Sarge, I could use your help here. Sounds like Webb did his part. Top before this thing explodes. You have the flare, Sarge? Bombardment's close. Go! Get out! And fire the flare! <laughs> Sergeant, the flare! Bombardment's any minute! Damn! Flare's ruptured! You've got to be fucking joking! Where's Webb? There! Lower case, mate! Incoming! Get down! I'm going for Webb's flare! Get everyone to cover! We need to run for it! Time to take a kip. I was just waiting for some mad bastard to come and save the day. Well, let's you and I signal our boys, shall we? We'd lost our captain, but we'd won the day. And we'd honored the memory of all those we lost the only way we could by completing the mission. You look at the soldiers under your command and hope that they can do the difficult thing, the impossible thing. That flare told me I'd been right. 
This is what it means to be a leader. <laughs>